Greetings students, welcome to the first day of, well actually today's the second day of classes, right? So you're out there, you're online, and you're ready to hit the ground running uh, for this summer semester. So welcome, I'm Dr. Joan, and I'll be your instructor for business statistics this summer. Um, so since this is the first day of classes, let's kind of go ahead and jump in here. Uh, hopefully you're in the pause system, remember this is the link I sent you where you go to the eLearn site and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me uh, log in. As I log in I need to scroll down to the bottom and you see the summer term 2012 and I'm going to go into our particular class and here we are on the home page. Now, uh, some of you have already located, <coughs> excuse me, located our um, web address to connect, and I sent you this, and um, you have already registered into the class, and that's very important. In fact, I need to give a shout out to Lindsay, to John, to Allison, and to Aisha. Great job, because you're out there, you're uh, registered your ID and to connect. In fact, two of you have already completed the Chapter 1 assignment and scored 100%, and that is exactly where you're supposed to be. Now that you're in the course, uh, let me tell you a little bit just to get you orientated. Over here on the left-hand side, these are this is a com this actually can be a little confusing. This is a combination of what they call upcoming events, which means both assignments that are opening as well as due dates. Okay. Now, one of them is that you need to be out there posting your introduction. So uh, I want you to you know take an opportunity to get to know. Uh, you know your classmates. So if you click on the discussion link here, this is worth two bonus points, but hey, why not? It'll take you two uh, seconds to do this, right? So I clicked on discussion. You can read through that. Uh, I introduce myself to you. Notice it says there are 13 uh, messages here. So if you click on that link, that might be a little uh, strange. You can go through and read information about your um, classmates. Okay, now the other thing that I want to get you started on here uh, is the content pages. All right, let me tell you something. I'm going to be pointing you back to this quite a bit. This is what I call the course orientation. Uh, has your syllabus, has the schedule, has the telephone number for Connect if you are to run into problems, has a series of help videos, and one thing I want to talk to you about in particular is using the PAUSE email system. Now, this particular system, this eLearn system, is what we call, you see the big logo up here, PAWS, right? P-A-W-S, like a Saluki, which is a dog, like a, a dog paw. A, a Saluki is an Egyptian hunting dog, okay? So this is our PAWS system, right? Notice that it has an email icon up here, and if you click on that, you can go and read your email. Also, whenever you see an icon like this over on the right-hand side, an envelope with a little uh, sparkly on the corner, that means that you have new email. Check this often, because from this point forward, the pause email system is the only email system that we will use to talk about class related information, okay? In other words, if it has anything to do with assignments, um, due dates, questions about a problem that you've been assigned, this is the email system that uh, I would like you to use. You still need to check your Southwest email every uh, day because uh, other offices like uh, financial aid and admissions and records and you know places like that are going to communicate with you using that, okay? All right, so get in there, hit the ground running. In terms of the discussion board, um, I'll give my shout out. Uh, this is discussion board to uh, Marika, to Tira, to John, to Allison, and to Lindsay, who have already posted their discussions. And again, thanks to Lindsay, John, Allison, and Aisha, who have already gone out to the Connect site to register. I'll just very quickly tell you that I monitor uh, the Connect website. Uh, I have access to a special screen that allows me to look. And so look at that. That two of four students have already scored 100% on that assignment, and so that is just um, excellent. Okay, if you're not sure what you should be doing, please go back. 
I want you to go back to the uh, schedule. Now, you know, this is where I give you, first of all, some overview notes, and I tell you week one, what do you need to be doing? Reading the syllabus, which I think uh, many of you are out there doing, looking at this schedule that we're talking about right now, going into pause, looking at those content pages, your class list page. If you are not familiar with pause, I have given you a link to some videos that are going to help you with, for example, the pause email as well as Dropbox, which you're going to need. Um, get in there to connect. Now, connect is that uh, separate system where you have to pay for access to that. But once you use that access code or you you know you buy that access, um, now you have a login, and so that will uh, work for you throughout the semester, right? So you'll log in, do your homework, do your test. All that's in connect, explained in the syllabus. Uh, pause introduction. Again, I think you should do the pause orientation, and I give you links to all this kind of stuff in the syllabus. We talk about this. So get out there and get working because this 10 week summer semester flies by very, very quickly, and June is just around the corner. We are so close to June, and you can see that our first test is coming up, and that first test is going to cover chapters one through four. I'll give you more information about that, but you don't want to delay on this homework. People tend to, actually, I think I've told you this, but I had a student who said to me, I saw that that first due date wasn't for a couple weeks, and boy, I just slacked off, and I said, I've got plenty of time. Uh, that is the road to failure. So the secret to success is to do a little bit every day. I know that sounds like something people make up, but I promise you, you are going to avoid so much stress uh, by just simply looking at this list every day, take a deep breath, and say, what am I, what is it I'm supposed to do? Oh, I'm supposed to go out there and to connect. I'm supposed to register. Also, if you do a little bit every day, if you're confused about something, you need to ask questions, you have an opportunity to go to the pause email send me a message, ask a question, and then I have time to respond to you so that then you have time to complete it and you're not at 10 o'clock the night that it's due, right, with an hour to spare, you know, something like that. So a um, little bit every day and you, you see the schedule here lies before you. So welcome. I'm looking forward to a great semester. Um, uh, you know, get out there and, and, uh, and get working. You need to get into pause. You need to get into the Connect website. Get your textbook, start reading, post that introduction so your classmates are familiar with you. And um, if you have any questions, do speak up and ask. But I do ask that you look through the materials that I've provided to you first. For example, in pause, under the content pages, that course orientation has all the information you need. Just kind of relax a little bit, take a deep breath, and go through that information so that you have time to process all the materials that are out there for you, okay? It's going to be a great summer. You know, it's so hot outside. This is a good time to go ahead and get some of this uh, classwork done, right? Take care. We'll see you online.